Hey guys, Sumner Valley Farm again. Um, today we're going to be making some automatic chicken waters for the chickens this spring. Over the past 20 years we've been raising poultry and I've come down to a real simple little automatic water that anybody can make. So uh, enjoy the video. Thanks. So we've got automatic float valve. We get these two little font, automatic font, so they're for, made for poultry. Every time a chicken pecks on there, it fills a little bit of the water, and then they just kind of keeps going. Then just a, a small bucket, you can use a five gallon bucket. I've already drilled the holes here. It's a uh, three eighths hole in the diameter, and you, you don't want to put them too low. You want to keep it up a little bit, um, so if manure builds up or shavings, you know, we'll stay below. Um, what I did was I drilled them. You could put as many of these as you want, you can, but I find two is sufficient um, for, for, you know, even up to a hundred birds, because they're not, as long as they're not super hungry, uh, thirsty. Then, uh, so I have to assemble this. I'm gonna get it out of the box here. Um, so it's a fairly simple assembly. You start by uh, throwing the directions away. And, uh, so I like to put on the back. down you'll see a garden hose fitting will go right into here so your garden hose it goes right in there you will place this down that's that actually blocks the hole it's going in There, so when the water fills up, it automatically shuts, closing off that little valve. Um, so as you can see, I put the my marks. I'm going to drop this so that it'll be below. Keep the chickens out of the water, out of the top. I will cut these and set that in. It's there. When you 
when you're in the field, you'll find that you have to hook the hose onto your into here first because it turns, but unless you get a swivel knob, um, a swivel end, um, it won't go in there very easily. So, <coughs> so that goes in there. And I guess take plastic burrs out. I want to clean out any plastic burrs. Don't change the size of the hole. I can help it. There. And then you put the little bond on here. Careful because it's not threaded, so you just kind of let it guide itself. You don't want to overdo any of these are plastic, they're cheap enough. This whole system, unless you have to buy the bucket, which are not too expensive, but you can do this whole project for about 25 bucks. And you can feed a small flock birds all summer long in the winter time you probably don't want to use this system it will freeze for sure unless you're buying a super warm there. once you get it going and these come off, they, they're really nice. To, you know, I sterilize them with a little bleach water um, occasionally, take the whole thing apart. Not these, these stay right in. But these will actually come off here. If you're so inclined. And I cut a hole in this area. Now or later, but basically, so I would slip my hose through here. Thread it in here. And there you are. That water will fill up. It'll only fill up to about here. The shut off will shut itself off automatically. And the chickens will feed out of here. I recommend that you set this up against a wall, maybe up on a block, and probably put a piece of plywood or sheet metal to keep the chickens from gathering. They'll sit right on here and they'll poop everywhere and dirty it. They'll even get down in here. So the more you cover, put a nice steep roof on there, and there you go. Alright, so we're going to do a little test run with it. See how it works out. What I usually do is put the lid on first. Put your float valve in. Set that in. but I just want to make sure it lines up. <laughs> okay. And you All right. <clears throat> right so because this is coming off of the house, I don't want any contamination from the poultry into the water system. So they recommend a check valve or backflow valve 
whatever you want to call it. So we're going to turn it on and go back and check our source. So once that fills up, yeah, that'll stop itself. <clears throat> and in the meantime, I'm going to come to feed here. Let's just take that. Yeah. It's not up to that level yet, but... Alright. <clears throat> now when I pick at this, the water will come out. And then we can drink in those little couplings. So. Like a toilet tank, uh, pretty much. So now the cattle float is blocked off, and there's no more water coming out. That's how it's done.